everyone. Welcome back. All right, you know I was going to pick this up. I mean, come on. Uh, Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet Palette. This is the box. This is the palette itself, which is gorgeous. Look at that iridescence running through there. You guys know I normally can care less about the packaging, but it's purple. It's pretty. <laughs> does come with a dual ended brush. It does flip all the way back. So there are your shadows. So you basically have some peachy nudes over here, a little pop of green, which seems to be showing up really light there. And then these purpley shades. You do have Four mats, I guess. Trippin', Mind Slip, Hacked, and the violet color here, or lavender in Optimized. All the rest are basically satin. Uh, there is one in here, I believe, that kind of shifts. I played with it a little bit yesterday. And then I want to say this VR shade reminds me of the Charlotte <clears throat> Tilbury. I can't get, to get the palette on top of it. Um, where it's like a sheer wash that's what that vr reminds me of so we're going to do some quick swatches and i'm going to pop some of this on my face <laughs> while we're here i'm in between watching c-span <laughs> about the coronavirus i have foundation under my nail gross now nails are just kiss i just mixed a couple things together all right and of course i had what each shade is written down on the phone and the phone's charging because it was at two percent <laughs> My bad. All right, so you got Trippin', Mind Slip, Dazed, and Hacked. I've only watched a few videos on this, no like huge YouTubers, and everybody's just complaining. So, But I think everybody's in complaining mode anyway, so with everything in life. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm not taking anybody's damn opinion but my own. Okay. So here's your first four. This is gorgeous. Dazed. Very pretty shade. Now purples and peachy shades do go together, just so you know. Now here is this VR shade I'm going to show you. It's like translucent. You're going to see in two seconds. It's right here. It's extremely translucent. So it's almost like if you have one of the mats on, maybe you can tap that on. I don't know if you need glitter glue or not, but it's just a very light translucent shade, which I was not expecting. <laughs> okay, then you have Lucid, which is this little pop of green, and it's kind of a multi-chrome in a way. Well, not really, it's just, it's a light green, but I'll show you the fun we can have with that too. You can see, and that's almost a translucent shade also, because it shears out a lot. Then you have Optimized, which is the matte purple, lavender, lilac, whatever the hell you want to call it. That may not show up on a lot of people. It barely kind of shows up on me, but there's ways to make it work. <laughs> then we have Warning, Cyberpunk. And euphoric. This shifts to like a blue. It has like a purpley blue to it. The cyberpunk has little micro shimmers in it. I want to say this one changes though. I could have sworn one of them looked duo chromey. Maybe it was maybe it was that one. This is gorgeous though. You know we're going to use that on the lid. Then we have uh, Purple Dust, which is a deeper purple shade, and Digital. So this is Digital. This is Purple Dust. Okay. So there are the swatches. Can this be a standalone palette? Absolutely. 
Do you need to pull more shades in? Possibly. But who the hell only one, owns one eyeshadow palette? <laughs> okay, one of my girlfriends might only own one. <laughs> but she's not a makeup guru or anything or a makeup junkie, not even any of it. She may have one foundation, one lipstick, one eyeliner. And that's her prerogative to have that. But the majority of us, come on, even if you own any of the other naked palettes, you could pull it to play with this. But of course, everybody's got to, you know, lose their shit. All right. Now, I want to show you a quick trick here. I have my green. What the hell called shades this thing called? Honeydew. NYX Full White Pencil. This is for this green shade I'm going to show you. So you got that there. For a base, I have the Lancome. And you can use any green eyeshadow base. Just because it is light, you might want it to pick up, you know, a little darker. Because then you can just pack it on. So there's the Lancome. And wait till you see what happens when it goes over black. I just have the Tarte Sex Kitten Black Eyeliner. I'm just going to do a light. Okay. So there's the black, the Lancome, and the NYX. Oh, grab a big brush. <laughs> now it picks up, you know, just fine. All right. So obviously if you want to put it over the NYX, like I used this in my inner corner over the NYX, and it was fine. Yeah, it just made it really bright. If I know I'm going to do part of my eye with the green, you know, and then you can go over, like I said, a green base. Hard for me to do this backwards, by the way. Okay. Watch what happens when you hit it with the on the black. It is awesome. <laughs> Almost makes me not want to just wear it with a black base underneath it. Look how it changes. Now it's like a deep teal. Just try to wipe the color off the sides. <laughs> so that light green turned into this. <laughs> which is pretty cool. And this shade's beautiful. And like I said, that toppery shade, this here, that VR. Okay, we're gonna take, this is Hacked, which is right next to it in the palette. Let me just put VR on my finger here. You can see how it has a, a translucency to it. And we're just, say you have, where is it? This one. Say you have this on your lid, Take this, and it's going to give you a little pop of shine, okay, and a little sparkle. Why not? All right. I also have a Lancome thingamajiggy in purple. I'm just going to do one look because I got filming to do for you guys. So I'm just going to use this purple as a base. Even though I already have NYX, or NYX, um, Urban Decay on, Primer Potion. If I'm doing a purple, I, you know, I'd just rather have a purple base underneath if I can. You don't have to. Totally up to you. All right, let me clean that green brush off because I'm going to use that. Let's use one of these things. And we are going to go into Euphoric. There is some kick up in the pan. Kick up in almost everything. So. All right. I need a mirror here. I remember I can't see what I'm doing. All right. Go here. There we go. Gorgeous. Okay. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to do the same. <laughs> we'll do an actual get ready with me we'll, probably next week. Oh. Oh, I just got over my nose. <laughs> Don't mind that. <laughs> I can't see anyway. My little beauty baby. No kidding.
Now here again, you can just go purple, done, over. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how to use this neutral side with it. I'm gonna use that shade Hacked, which is the shade that I put the sparkly one over. I gotta wash my brushes. This is a Wayne Goss um, number 10. Or if you have this shade on the lid, you can use, you know, the purple in the crease. I have no problem using like a satin or anything in my crease due to, I basically have hooded eyelids. So by the time I blink up and down a thousand times, it ain't going to be matte anymore. That's just a fact of my eyeball's life. Whether I like it or not. Oh, wrong shade. Oh shit, I wanted the wrong shade. Wiping off the brush. And you know me, here we do quick looks, usually I do two looks. Okay, and I'm back into, what the hell is it called? Hacked. So I'm just lightly tapping it off. Do get about a gram of product in each pan. Um, I did take my magnet to it, but they don't pop out with the magnet, but it is magnetized. So I'm sure if I get in there and... But most of my urbans I have left alone. <laughs> I haven't depotted them. Little palettes I have, just not the big ones. Okay. Oh. And I'm just going to go into the little base shade here, tripping. Problem. So there, you know, that's just simple. Using three shades, literally. Now you want to deepen up the outer corner? We'll go in there. Where's my uh, pointy brush? It's a crayon case brush, just a pointy, you know, pointed brush. <laughs> Go into purple dust. Is that what this is? Okay. Don't forget. I can pop that over there if you want. Run this along the lash line. Maybe I just want to darken up the other corner. Start doing this. I'm looking at three different things here, there, and there. <laughs> I'm looking everywhere. You all know I don't do crazy crook creases, any of that. That's just not my thing. Never gonna see that on here. But it's definitely a workable palette. I mean, come on. Now I just wiped this on a wet one. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Let me show you the green on the inner corner. I'm just gonna use my NYX Faux White. And it's the green one. Angle brush. Go into Lucid. <laughs> this green, I find it does work best with a little, little something to grab onto. Now you can leave it there, call it done, again, <laughs> call it a day. I'm going to go into Cyberpunk, uh, this one here, and I'm going to run that on the lower lash line. I'm actually not going to put liner down. A lot of times I always put eyeliner down first, so I have something to grab onto. Okay, God, I got bags under my eyes today.
hoping it'll rain. I know. <laughs> it's so just humid and gross out. Again, there you go. Want to lighten it up a little bit? Go into that matte purple. Optimized. Again, same brush. And just run it right over the top. Shit. Alright. Now, purple, I'm going to do a green eyeliner. That's just regardless. <laughs> Uh, what are they use today? I'll go with the Givenchy. Easy peasy, simple, but you can definitely create, you know, a bunch of looks with this palette. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I mean, you can literally, any one of these, you know, slap it on your lid, done. I mean, that's pretty much any eyeshadow at this point in time. You can just go one and done. I normally, you see me, three shades tops on usually the lid. Because I'm going to work. When I do get raised with me, I'm literally going to work. That's why I show you my phone to go, it is 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm not sitting here like it is now at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon doing this. I'm late because I've been watching the Senate all morning. Um, I do have a new mascara I want to try. The Marc Jacobs. My glasses are all fogged up. What the hell is this thing? At last. And the camera's heating up. Shit. Camera's not being nice today. It's going to be a fun day. Oh, God. Don't, please don't cut out. I forgot the tight line. Panicking, so I'm probably gonna end up with mascara everywhere. This was the you know free sample thingy. I already love all his other mascaras, so I really didn't need it. There you go. All right. So I don't want the camera to blow up. How many how many minutes am I at? Oh, I'm at 18. That's why. Oh, boy. Whoopsie. All right. I'll finish my other lash when I'm done here. But, yeah, if you want to pick up the palette, that's up to you. I never tell anybody, buy what you want. It's your money. Hey, it's $49. I had, I used that 500 points in Sephora where you get 10 bucks off, and I had a $5 Sephora credit from the credit card, so I got $15 off it anyway. Because I always run around 2,000 points, so I was like, 500 points, let's use the 10 bucks. What the hell? But, yes, I like this palette. You're going to see it sitting right up here. <laughs> and we will do another Get Ready With Me with it and all that. But there's the swatches. You know, the fun you can have with the green. And that topper shade, again, is just, you know, I'd use that more with the neutrals. But it reminds me of that Charlotte Tilbury, just to give you some sheen. Or, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right, love you all. See you all very soon. Have a fabulous day. i got to let this camera cool down. Bye. <laughs>